Good afternoon. I'm Christy Runyon. This is an ABC 36 News update. A man is dead following an overnight shooting in rural Garrett County. Now officers say the man who pulled the trigger is not likely to face any charges. ABC 36's Tony Hensley explains. Kentucky State Police say the 67-year-old man who lives here in this home was not here yesterday when his home was broken into. But last night at 1230, they tell us he was. And when he came face to face with his intruder, police say he shot and killed the man. Police are not sure if the two burglaries are connected. However, one thing they are sure of, 40-year-old Dallas Richard Helton was inside the home when he was shot in the chest with a 410 shotgun just minutes after breaking into 67-year-old Herlin McQuarrie's home. Uh, Mr. Helton was wearing a pair of gloves. Uh, he was wearing a ski mask, and he was armed with a crowbar. Investigators say Helton got into the home through the back door. It was forcible entry. The motive? Police turned to Helton's girlfriend, 35-year-old Tanya Fowler of Berea. Their claim is they were looking to rent, to rent a home. Fowler was arrested and charged with complicity to commit burglary in the second degree. Police say she was driving the getaway car. What I can say is the, the shooting victim was wearing gloves, a ski mask, and he was armed with a crowbar. Uh, you know, that's not the way that I would personally dress if I was looking to rent, rent a home. Despite what investigators believe happened, Helton's mother still claims her son's innocence and says that her son did nothing wrong. There was no need for this. No need. No need for this. While the Helton family begins to plan for Dallas's funeral, Fowler sits in jail waiting for her day in court. Meanwhile, investigators tell us that Mr. McQuarrie will not face any charges for defending his property. In Garrett County, Tony Hensley, ABC 36 News. And ABC 36 did some digging and found that Dallas Helton was, has a long criminal history with police. According to court records, he's been in and out of jail on charges ranging from burglary to being a persistent felon, not only in Garrett and Lincoln counties, but in Boyle and Fayette counties as well. As of right now, no court date has been set for Helton's girlfriend, Tanya Fowler. A man has been arrested after police approached him about a domestic dispute, and it all ended with him being tasered. Police located William Red in the area of Griffith Market around 12.30 this morning. He was tasered by officers when he tried to run away. He was checked out at the scene by EMS, then taken to jail. None of the officers were injured. At the mo it's the moment many in Georgetown have been waiting for. The Cephaleta family pool will open in a matter of days. City officials say the pool wasn't open because it was not compliant with new federal regulations for pool drains. The pool has several oversized drains that require custom-made drain covers. It'll open Saturday morning at 11. That's your ABC 36 update.